Hi friends, my name is Miss Liz and I'm going to read you one of my class's favorite stories. It's called, There's a Monster in Your Book. And the author's name is Tom Fletcher and it's illustrated by Greg Abbott. Oh no, there's a monster in your book. Let's try to get him out. Shake the book and turn the page. Nice try. That knocked him over, but he's still in your book. Tickle his feet and turn the pages. That didn't work. He's just laughing and he's still in your book. Try blowing him away. Blow really hard and turn the page. That's better. Now he's far away, but he's still in your book. Tilt the book to the left. Now he's over here, but he's still in your book. Tilt the book to the right. He's hanging on. What a naughty little monster. Give that book a wiggle. Good, now he's back over there, but he's still in your book. Try spinning the book around and around. Look, he's dizzy. Quick, make a loud noise. Roar! It's working, he's running away. Make that noise again, but louder. Roar! He's gone. There isn't a monster in your book anymore. Now he's in your room. Quickly call him back. Monster, come back. Look, here he is. He's coming back. Keep calling him. Monster, come here, little monster. Phew, he's back in your book. You don't want a monster loose in your room. This book is probably the best place to keep him. Monster, you can stay here in this book. Pet the monster's head and say goodnight. Goodnight, little monster. Shh, look, he's fast asleep. Gently close the book so he doesn't wake up. <laughs>